How about a private pilot mock check ride? Missouri Nation, who doesn't love a good mock check ride? I guarantee there's people who are already private pilots watching this video going, this is still gonna be good. Today, I'm gonna to be reading uh, to you uh, from this guy. He wrote this book called Pass Your Private Pilot Check Ride. Available on Audible too, if you want a great audio book to listen to. No, seriously, gosh, it's, I think it's over 500 five-star reviews on Audible. Y'all are absolutely phenomenal. I'm reading to you. Uh, no script here. We're just going to open up past your private pilot check ride. We're going to work through and I'm going to ask some questions. It's actually very similar to how we do it in the actual audiobook itself. Let's look at it here. What can I find? Hey, name and explain the three types of icing. Could you do it? Three main types. I mean, if you look at the aim, there's actually a lot of subtypes as well. They are clear, rhyme, and mixed. It reads that clear ice is hard and glossy. It forms after impact, spreads over the airfoil, and freezes. It's a sheet-like freeze over the airfoil. Rime is that brittle, frost-like uh, appearance, created by small drops and freeze rapidly before the drop has time to spread across the airfoil. Brittle's that keyword there. And mixed. You guessed it, it's a combination of the two. It's hard, rough, it forms when drops vary in size or when snow is also mixed in with the rain. So, uh, speaking of the theme of threes and the theme of weather, what are the three ingredients that must be present for a thunderstorm to develop? What are the three ingredients of a thunderstorm? You know, we do mock check rides uh, every, the last Tuesday of every month with our online ground school members. You all think m 0 is a cool YouTube channel. It's an even better online ground school. Where are my ground school members at in the comments? Back to our scheduled programming. The three ingredients that must be present for a thunderstorm to develop, sufficient water vapor, an unstable lapse rate, and an uplifting action that starts the whole process into motion here. All right, let's um, look at some other ones here. Um, ooh, here's a good one. What is an M-E-L? Not only what does it stand for, but what is it? Do you have one? What does it really mean? What is an M-E-L? An M-E-L stands for Minimum Equipment List. If I had to put it in plain English, an M-E-L is a list of the things, hear me on this, it's a list of the things that are allowed to be broken and still go fly the airplane. I know when you think of the definition of minimum equipment list, your mind wants to jump to, well, that's the minimum equipment. No, the minimum equipment is found over here in 91205. That's where we really get that. The minimum equipment list are the items in the aircraft, say one more time, that are allowed to be broken and still go fly the airplane. If your airplane has a coffee maker and you're flying with Magda, that's, that's not on the MEL. We, that's a no-go if the coffee maker's broken. She's not going flying anywhere without her coffee. Speaking of requirements, what documents are required to be aboard your aircraft? What documents are required to be aboard your aircraft? Do you remember the acronym? It's ARO. And I like to use two R's, A-R-R-O-W, like how you'd spell. Arrow. Some people put one R. Allow me to explain though. We need our A, airworthiness certificate, R, our registration. The other R I like to add, which is our radio certificate. Our radio certificate is for the aircraft for international flights. Now, being in Florida, we go to the Bahamas quite a bit and everything else, not to make all of you in Michigan and Minnesota and you know New England where it's really cold right now jealous, but you know, we're wearing shorts down here right now this time of year. It's great. Radio certificate. O is our owner's manual. W is our weight and balance. And that's not like you work so hard to calculate your weight and balance. Yes, that, that's a, that's a uh, 91103 requirement um, with our takeoff distance and everything else. This is the weight and balance for your aircraft. When 23 Mike Zulu got new uh, avionics, we got a new weight and balance. When it got painted, we got a new weight and balance. Are you following me? Let's do one more here for fun. Um, Hmm. Hey, what does your ammeter tell you? What does your ammeter tell you? Pretty simple. It tells you if our battery is receiving a charge. Here's the kicker, or possibly an undercharge or an 
overcharge as well. The follow-up question to that is, what does a voltage regulator do? That's where, do you see how these check rides work? I'm jumping around questions, but they're going to follow a theme with all of that. First off, in the comments, if you use this book, let me know. I'm talking thousands upon thousands of copies. It is on Audible. I, I mean, if you love a paperback, you can get that on Amazon. If you love an ebook, they're out there uh, as well on wherever you buy your ebooks at. I personally love audiobooks, and you can, if you can put up with listening to me for three hours straight, I recommend it. If not, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Maybe there's something else out there. I'm teasing you all. We're almost done with the 31 Day Safer Palette Challenge. It's kind of it's kind of getting sad. Maybe how many days are in February? Maybe we just keep it going. I'm sure I'm sure Coach Ray won't mind editing just you know a few more videos. I'm so thankful for you all. Thanks for letting me kind of kid and joke and have fun with you all back and forth. Uh, it's just such a blessing to get to serve such an amazing community who just plays full out. I, I love reading your comments. You're starting your morning with a cup of coffee and watching the Safer Palette Challenge. What are you going to do when there's no Safer Palette Challenge videos? Well, you can wait till 2023, I guess. Or you could hop in the online ground school, or you could grab the, the check ride audio books. Yes, there's one for instrument. Yes, there's one for commercial. I can, I, can, I can foresee the future and know those comments are coming as well. So check all that out. Hey, have a blessed, amazing, outstanding rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, the good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see ya. So you're loving the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge. Hey, will you do us a huge favor? Will you just throw this video a thumbs up on YouTube, on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, like and follow MZRA on Facebook, and really wherever you're watching this. This not only helps us, it helps future aviators find us as well. And if you are finding value in MZRA.com, I know you can throw it a share as well and just maybe share this message with somebody who truly needs to hear this. 2022 is going to be our safest year in aviation yet and starts with us.